All right, first up this morning, the Wisconsin Center downtown will be buzzing with excitement this weekend because of the annual event Wine and Dine Wisconsin. And not only can you sip and taste your way through the event, you can learn a thing or two. And when we say learn, we mean learn from the best. That's right. Joining us now is Chef Joe Bordelata, along with Kristen Demmett with the Milwaukee Journal Sun. Oh, what's up, guys? Hi, guys. Happy, Monday. Happy yes. Monday. Did you remember that it's Monday? <laughs> I did. You know, I remember I was staying up really late last night for the backer game, too. Right. Maybe that awesome. was yeah. part of it, too. Yeah, that's why people are a little confused about it, yeah. After so, the first yeah. half, though, people right. were ready to move on, right? We were uh, like, yeah. yay, it Especially happened. Especially if they're Bears fans, they <laughs> right. turn it off. Right. <laughs> yeah, right. that's it what I did. Good. Okay, so everything is going on this weekend. It's going to be really fun for Wine and Dine. Tell right. us a little bit about uh, it. Friday, Saturday? So Wine and Dine is uh, is on Friday and Saturday mm -hmm. from 11 to 5. Sorry, Joe. Saturday, I'm sorry. Sunday. I'm sorry, oh. sorry. Thank you. See, <laughs> that's why you're here. <laughs> Friday and Saturday. Saturday and Sunday. Saturday and Sunday. Um, 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. Both days uh, at the Wisconsin Center, right here downtown. Now okay. that we got that cleared up, yep. <laughs> Saturday and Sunday, away. now go. Yeah. So, so it, it's a really great opportunity for people to come. Uh, they, they, you know, the Journal Sentinel does a great job of sponsoring this thing. We, we get thousands of people to come down. A lot of restaurants are represented. It's, it's a, uh, you, you pay either uh, one day if you want a one day pass, or you can get a whole two day pass. You come to a bunch of seminars. Uh, it's a really great experience if you're into food, if you're into beverage. It's really the place to be this weekend. And in your opinion, because there are other wine and dine, there are tasting events throughout the city. What makes this unique or different? Well, I think what makes it unique and different is it's just the massive scale of it. Uh, it also features uh, Milwaukee's top 30 restaurants. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a, uh, it's a it's sort of a, a little corral, a little gathering of some of the 30 top restaurants by Carol Tep Deptola, who, uh, who rates these things and you puts them in this category. You have one in the category. top 30? Uh, we are very fortunate. We have six of them, actually. No. Oh. So, um, Get out. Six out of 30. That's, I'm very humbled highest? by it. Very, uh, Bacchus is probably yeah. one of our best restaurants. Fantastic. Harbor House and Rumpus Room. and Yeah, there are, six of our restaurants are there. And it's, it's very humbling. It's, it's great to be part of that. What's mm -hmm. the... I, I, What's the recipe for success? What, how do you run a successful restaurant, like in a, in a yeah. nutshell? You know, th that's sort of neat because I'm also involved in a uh, panel discussion uh, a little bit earlier, uh, and, and they're sort of digging into the business of the restaurant business, yeah. mm -hmm. which I think a lot of people are very interested in, you know, what happens behind the scenes. Yeah. I said earlier, you know, there's a little person on the shoulder that when you're sitting in a restaurant, you all say, God, I could do this. I could, I could open a restaurant. I could run a restaurant. <laughs> I never that say that. Not, no, a lot of people it's, do. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, no, a lot of people do. But it's, it's a tough business. Yeah. And, you know, it's interesting to understand the back, the back story that goes into it. So I'm on a panel to discuss that. And if you're interested in learning about the behind the scenes, that's really great. But, you know, the key to our, our success is really our people, finding great mm -hmm. people. Mm -hmm. And when you can find great people, you get them trained and you get them all moving in the same direction at the same time, mm -hmm. you become really, really powerful. And so. you've got some great locations. I mean, Harbor House is yep. where I bring everyone that comes into yep. town just for that beautiful view to sit mm -hmm. out there and enjoy. And then obviously the food's phenomenal. So yeah. you're going to get tastes of all these. Yeah, um, we've got restaurants. six restaurants in, in, the, in, the, uh, in the top 30 area, mm -hmm. and we'll be sampling tastes for everybody. So they're expecting upwards of 800 people for the tasting. So Can you pick um, one favorite dish from one of your restaurants? Oh, put them on the spot. <laughs> Which one's your baby? You know, that's really hard. It's still my favorite restaurant. And, and my kids kill me about this when I say this. You know, the firstborn child is always maybe a little <laughs> bit special. Right. Uh, Restaurante in Wauwatosa, yeah. probably still my favorite restaurant. I uh, love going. It's, it's so a, small, it's small, quaint, it's intimate. cozy. You know, the other ones are bigger and more grander. And I, I love them all because uh, you sort of give birth to them all and you create them. But, uh, you know, the reality is the first one is sort of special. So yeah. I think the parvadeli with the duck ragu is probably, you know, a, a classic. Anything with truffles right now, truffle season is starting. So It's so funny are, you mentioned truffles because I was going to say I was introduced to them at the restaurant in Wauwatosa. Yep. And that's where mm. I was like, yep. these are good. They're really good. <laughs> yeah. And they're very scarce. They're we very had expensive. some here once and Tiffany dropped, dropped a basket of like $10,000 dollars $10, Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. That's a five impressive. second rule for sure. <laughs> I'm sure you pick them up. growing the I'm sure you pick them up and you use them you again. You know, let's yeah, dust them a, Yeah, it's a five-second roll. <laughs> yeah. Ten thousand dollars. So great. <laughs> yeah, it was. It was like a basket of gold. Yeah. Right. Um, let's talk a little bit about the critics' choice at Wine and Dine um, this year because that's kind of an exciting part of it. Yeah, that is the top thirty area that Joe mentioned. Um, we're highlighting restaurants from Carol Deptola's top thirty list. 
Um, we have six Bertolotta restaurants on board, so there's tons of samples from restaurants, uh, you know, all over the top restaurants in Milwaukee. It's our biggest expanded area th is this year, um, featuring double the space, more seating area, so we're really trying to cater to all those event goers. What other changes do you have that are new this year for people to kind of look for, especially mm. if they've been in the past and they want to see what's new and exciting? Yeah, our very popular MHEC hands-on cooking area um, is now presented by Pick and Save and is back this year, bigger and better than ever. Um, double the space, more samples. Um, so make sure to get your hands on that. Um, we have over 150 exhibitors, so sampling things from tequila to whiskey, obviously wine, food. Um, other vendors will be there, Pampered Chef. So selling, you know, some of those stylish kitchen tools and things like that. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Is okay. this a dress up event or can you come a little more casual? Um, we really try to speak to the in-style event, so mm -hmm. um, actually our presenting sponsor is Boston Store, Great. and later this week we'll be on um, featuring, you know, outfits to be wearing at Wine and Dine, so more to come on that. Come yeah. fashionable. Yeah. And fashionably <laughs> hungry. <laughs> fashionable, yeah, and very <laughs> hungry. And we're going to give away tickets in a second, but first, this weekend, Saturday and Sunday, November 15th and mm -hmm. 16th, 16th, wineanddinewisconsin.com is the website to visit. Boston Store is sponsor, the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel putting this on. And here we are with that pair of tickets that we promised. Call us at 414-799-4444. Lucky caller number seven wins a pair of tickets to this fantastic event. We promise you won't be disappointed. Great to see both of nice you. Nice yeah. Thank you so Good much. Good to see you both. Super looking forward Thank to you. it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Still